Hello Lolas, welcome back to my channel guys. Guys, make sure you subscribe by clicking that red subscribe button. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. Guys, make sure you look out for my live stream, also upcoming giveaway. And guess what? Your girl is what? Ready to spill the tea. So let's talk about some things, guys. As you guys know, baby Phoebe is the Willow Awake, um, sculpted and poured by Claire Teller. She was painted by myself. Um, for you that, some of you that may be new to my channel, um, I do paint Reborns. I have been painting Reborns for quite some time now. Um, however, I am fairly new to painting silicone. Um, this is only my seventh baby that I've painted in silicone. Um, she is the first skin tone, first one that I did in this skin tone. Um, I think each baby that I have done so far has been a different skin tone. Um, as you guys know with my Reborns, I try to do different skin tones. And so, of course, with silicone, I'm going to try to mimic the same thing. However, um, I know a lot of people have been frustrated with me. And I say this all the time because I want to, want to keep it fresh in you guys' head to understand that it's nothing about me trying to be all of that or trying to act funny or trying to pick or be selective but I am still learning I am still new um I do have the basics and everything together I I have babies out there with mommies that are active with their babies and they're not having issues so um that's fine um but <laughs> But with the way that the community is, they are very unforgiving for the least little thing. And especially if you have a huge platform like my my own um, or the following that I have, um, people take pleasure and they take their time into trying to sabotage or destroy you when you first start out at something if they see any type of potential in you. And... I don't want to deal with that so early on while I'm in my learning process. I am doing a custom for a friend in the community that has been following me for a while. And like I said, I had promised. It's kind of like one of those funny things. Like, girl, if I ever paint silicone, I promise I'll paint you one. And it's like one of those type things. However, she is paying for her baby. Don't get it twisted. But I just want to, and I'm going to change her in a few minutes, um, but I just want to get this part out so that I don't get off cue. So, um, so that is my main thing about painting silicone, selling silicone. That's why I'm not doing it as of yet. And um, you guys know me. Like, I am a very out-of-the-box person. I never fit in one category. Um, I believe that that's why a lot of the people that follow me that have been following me for years and years follow me because I am not going with the flow of the community, of artists, of no one. I have always been that different child. Call me weird, call me unique, call me whatever you want to call me, but what you're not going to call me is a copycat. <laughs> Girl, what? So anyway, um, I am known to be very strongly opinionated and that's just my personality on and off camera however you know it is one thing that bothers me and my main pet peeve with this community is the fact that you will have individuals that will follow you to the end of the earth they will buy everything that you buy they will you know do everything that you do and then at the same time turn around and throw shade hate on you you know, do all this sideways stuff. It's like, if you're going to be a fan, be a fan. I'm a fan of several people, collectors, artists, sculptors in the community. I would never, never throw dirt on their name if I see them as an inspiration or an influencer or someone that I admire their style, their taste or whatever. Why would I hate on them at the same time? It's some conflicting self-hate that something, I don't know, I'm not a therapist, but something definitely is not right with that individual or those individuals that do that. 
Now, the new shade of them all, let me just address this. And I'm only gonna address it once because I find it kind of cute and funny because even in your shade, you're not original. So, <laughs> so they are like, is Phoebe a boy? Is Phoebe, is Phoebe a girl? Why can't Phoebe wear girly stuff? And you know, it's like, okay, like, it's my baby and if you want to dress your own baby and you want to see what they look like, buy your own Willow Awake. There's about six more available that's coming out. You can buy your own, paint it the way you want it, have it rooted the way you want it, and put all the headbands and all the color clothes and everything. Yes, and if I sound a little bothered, I am. You know why? Because I get tired of blocking all day. I mean, I got time because we're in quarantine, so I got time. But I get tired of people, I mean, come on, stop making up all those fake accounts. You should be tired with your Twitter fingers. Keep going back and forth, making up a new account just to say the same things to me. I'm not talking about aunties that's like, oh, I, I, I would love to see her in this and that. I love you guys. I understand that. But the people that's doing it to be malicious, girl, bye. And guess what? She'll never wear a headband keep messing with me. <laughs> and I will put her in boy clothes playing. Um, I chose this particular style to root her hair because a baby that's in my family, I loved her pictures as a baby and her hair was this, was, um, in this, was like this. So I wanted this, her hair to be rooted like this. I wanted her to have a baby look. I did not want her to have the typical, um, curly hair. Um, I know a lot of, uh, African-American people feel that or non-African-American people feel that all black babies should have curly fluffy hair or either coarse hair and you know that's not always the case with every baby so um I just wanted her to have that's the look that I wanted for her it's my baby you know what I mean and that's you know I'm doing what what I want because it's my baby I'm, you know, I don't mean to offend anyone with this video, but you guys don't know the type of stuff that, you know, the comments and stuff that I get. And it's like, who really cares? Like, okay, if she's a boy, then, okay, she's a cute boy. <laughs> um, But yeah, I don't claim to be perfect. I don't claim to be the best at anything that I do. Because there's always going to be somebody better. There's always going to be something cuter. I mean, I have enough babies in my collection to know that my work is not, like, flawless type thing. But this is, you know, this is the type of stuff that happens in the community that runs a lot of people off or discourage people from making babies and stuff like that. And you lose a lot of good people and a lot of good talent because they can't handle the hazing and, and stuff. But I am not one of those people. Um, I've been hazed for seven years on this um, in this community. And um, it just, you just, after a while, you just realize that this is, this is how it is. And um, you just have to get over it. Um... But it is annoying, no lie, um, because the thing about me, when I make my comments or I do my my commentary or whatever, I do it on my own platform. But when you don't have a platform or you don't have that many people watching your platform, you tend to come to other people's platform with it because you're thirsty for attention. So for the thirst buckets out there, rest assured that you're going to be making a lot of accounts because every time you say something that I don't like about me or my dolls or whatever, I will block you. That's what I do. I am the block queen and I am the queen of petty. I will, I am so petty. Let me tell you, I am so, so petty. Real petty. So, um, I appreciate all the love from everybody else and, um, <laughs> I do, I do, I do, I do. And we've been in, I've been enjoying this little one. I'm enjoying my collection. 
more than I ever thought I would at this point. Um, I'm looking forward to a lot of new faces that I am painting um, here soon from different sculptures. I'm trying to see how I am going to get this diaper on her without exposing her girl bits <laughs> because she is a girl. <laughs> But, oh, I think I got it. I am not, I'm getting used, I have to get used to the new babies. Because every, every pour is a little different. Um, it might not be that much different, but you just have to get used, used to them. So, well, I do. And I did this when, when Nigel came, I acted like he was a whole new type of, um, soft silicone that I had never felt before when in all actuality him and Noah feels almost the same pretty much almost identical the uh, consistency of their softness and but when I got Nigel because he was new it just felt like I don't know it just felt like it was I had to learn how to handle him and it was like Really? Like he is just the same freaking baby, same sculpt, everything. So it'd be like that sometimes. But yeah, it's it's like I, I find that the most ignorant thing in the world. It's like I can understand you like not liking somebody and like hating the hating well not I'm not gonna say hating, but I can understand you like not liking somebody and making little comments and, and, and plugs and stuff at them, but you're not allowed. <laughs> okay. You're allowed to do whatever you want, but you know what I mean? In my opinion, you're not, it's not justified if you're going to also follow them everywhere too. Like it's, it, it don't make sense when you do it that way. Like you got to pick which one you want to be. You want to be a op, well, you want to be a team player. That's just my, you know, that's my, the way I see things. I don't know you guys, what, what do you guys think? Like you, you can't, you can't straddle the field. But I understand that quarantine got a lot of people like doing some silly stuff and people just, I don't know, maybe they have, I mean, They've been petty like this before. I don't know if she's going to fit this because these are newborn. And they, this newborn is really newborn. So it's like, well, it's, I think it's, uh, let's see, is it zero to one month? Yeah, this is like zero to, to one month. So it's newborn to one month. So, yeah. So I didn't know if she was going to fit this or not. But it looked like she, she can fit them. You look so cute, mama. But yeah, this this is only my, like I said, my seventh baby. Um, it's not like I've been, you know, doing silicone forever. So I can't come on here and act like I'm Claire Taylor or somebody um, when I just started. I just started painting. And, you know, I should have left your little ruffles. Inside, I should have brought you some other socks, but we're gonna do it like that. I think that looks better. But yeah, um, but yeah, that's that's been the thing. It's like it's it's so stupid. Like even on my Instagram, where I've showed her in like pink and you know all pink and frilly, um, one of the people had a nerve to say. So, is Phoebe a boy or is Phoebe a girl? I'm like, so you dress your boys in all pink? I mean, bright, bright pink. I know men wear pink, but... Okay. Like, people get so caught up on, so, on, on petty stuff. Like, find something. Gosh, like, it's, you know... She has other flaws that you guys can, can, can pick at. I mean, she has a little... Um, this coloration right here on her wrist that I'm going to go in and, and, and fix that I hadn't noticed. 
Um, I mean, that's more appropriate to pick on. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's, it's good. But for the most part, everybody accepted her well. And say all that really matters is that I love her. And, um, like I said, this, this, this is exactly why a lot of my babies remain private and will never reach social media. Like never, ever, ever, ever. I will not share my, my collection with no one fully. No one. Um, because I don't, I, I believe in good energy and I just feel like once people start putting bad energy on you, it, it make you feel some type of way if you don't be careful. You got to have a really strong mind um, to combat that. And even then it kind of, I mean, because look, it kind of, I kept trying to avoid not talking about it or whatever, but it kind of pull you in that, that space. But, um, I do agree though. She can be easily a boy though. Um, with this hairstyle, definitely she could still be a boy. She would be a cute boy too. But, um, she's not. She has her girl bits and eventually she will get her ears pierced, but I'm not doing that until I finish. Like I said, go in and do whatever touch-ups that I want to do on her. And then I will, um, I will, I will pierce her ears, but you know, and that's the other thing about me. I'm very transparent for the most part about my work. And I let people know that my work is not flawless. I'm not one of these people that, you know, edit my photos or, you know, use filters and stuff to get you guys to believe that my work is more than what it is now granted i don't care what what baby from what artist or what person you collect from the um the photos are never going to look the same as a baby either it's going to look better or worse or a little different might not be that much maybe barely any difference but it's going to be some type of difference because that's just what cameras do um but i will be the first to let you guys know you know that my work is never 100 percent perfect because it's hand done not even on my reborns i mean some of them I feel like is like almost like perfect. Like my Dwayne, I, I thought he was pretty flawless. Um, my Susu that I did last, the last suits, the Susu that I did, I think so too. My Evie, like my, a lot of my last babies, because I've been really working on it. I've, um, I feel like they are, I feel like they, they are really, really, close to perfect as they can be for handmade art um, or handmade crafted whatever you want to call it um, but perfect they are not because I have not ever had a perfect baby I have not even collected a perfect baby um, because there is no perfection in anything handmade um, even factory made stuff have um, imperfections or discrepancies just handmade is a little bit more but yeah it so I don't I don't come to to make it seem like that I just do my thing I'm grateful for those that follow me and genuinely love seeing my growth and um, those that are not I just want them to find something else to do with their life and their time um, than to come in try to get on my nerves because I have little patience too because I am also in quarantine state mind too. I'm I got time. So <laughs> and so that's that's just how it is right now. So that that's that. Um 
like I said, it's just, I don't know. But that is Little Miss Phoebe. And like I said, she would definitely, like, that would be her with a bow or something. But I just don't like bows on her. Everything that I, I'm one of these people that when I, I love something, right? So if I love the art in the doll, I want to see them with as least bit of clothes as possible. I like putting her in full clothes because she's so cuddly in her clothes. Um, but I love the way that she, her hair was rooted. So I like to enjoy looking at the, the, the rooting. I don't want to cover that up with the little bows and stuff like that. And a lot of people, they do put a lot of that for real on their babies. And some of them have to do it because, you know, maybe the hairlines are jacked up or, um, and some people do it for decor, but some people do it because the hairlines are jacked up or the, um, you know, the hair is pluggy or whatever the case may be. So they tend to, um, do hats and um headbands and all that and nothing's wrong with that um because that's what i suggest um if i don't like the way a baby hair is painted or rooted or anything like that i will con constantly put hats on them um just like if i don't like the feet on a baby or something like that i will constantly put socks or hammocks or something i'm just you know so i think that is a great alternative but it's my baby and I am going to enjoy her the way that I want to. So that is the purpose of the video. That is the moral of the story. Don't follow me if you don't like what I'm doing. I am totally enjoying people that are collecting the same sculpts as me. And we're having, you know, conversations back and forth. And they're designing their babies with the artists and, you know, you know, giving their wants and desires in their babies as they you know wait for their babies or they're painting their babies and they're you know going over little things like I think I should do this or you think I should do that or whatever and I'm really enjoying that part I am enjoying that you know when I say something about the sculpt they understand because they have it type thing so I really enjoy having same sculpts I don't mind us twinning with outfits and shoes and hats and whatever bibs boppies whatever we have that's in common but i don't understand the mentality of hate the person that you love or throw shade you want to make them look like trash but at the same time you're doing your very best to do everything that they're doing it doesn't make sense like think about it it's not logical anyway guys you guys be great don't let nobody tell you otherwise um, you are who you are. Believe in yourself. If nobody else don't, do you.